Hey, Steve Hansen here with the Janitorial Store in My House Cleaning Biz. Uh, I wanted to talk a little bit about equipment maintenance today. Uh, one thing that we often see is that uh, cleaning companies, they'll go and they'll purchase vacuum cleaners, typically an upright vacuum, and they'll buy the cheapest thing that they can find. You know, maybe it costs 120 bucks or something like that. And uh, then they go out and they purchase another one, then another one, and another one. So after a year's time, they've gone through and they've purchased three or four vacuum cleaners. When uh, actually, if they had just purchased a quality vacuum cleaner, uh, could, they could have had one vacuum cleaner and then maintained it, and they'd still be using the same piece of equipment. This one here that, um, that I'm uh, next to is a sanitary vacuum cleaner. It's an upright. So um, we used to use these in production all the time, uh, and then also along with backpacks, which I'll go over later. But this one here has, has a bag uh, that you just shake out and has a dust cup, and then you empty the dust cup. And I usually will empty this every time that I use my vacuum cleaner. Uh, other than that, as far as maintenance, it does have a belt. So I will periodically check my belt that's underneath the machine. It also has brushes. So I'll check my brushes to make sure that my brushes are okay. Uh, these are very simple to replace. That's why I like the sanitaires. Uh, if I ever have any problems with the beater bar or the brushes, it's just it takes me five minutes to do that. Uh, and also to change my belt is, is rather quickly because it's right here. Um, so that's what I'll do. I'll do that on a regular basis. So after I get done using the machine, I'll, du I'll dust my or dump my dust cup, and then I'll wipe it down with a microfiber cloth. So I'll just keep the dust and dirt off it. And if need be, I'll use I'll use a damp cloth to go ahead and wipe down everything. I mean, it's going to look like it's brand new if I if you maintain it. Um, so keep that in mind, you know, don't go out and buy yourself that $125 vacuum cleaner, the cheap one, uh, because you're going to have cheap parts uh, that are putting it together. You're just going to, you're, you're going to end up spending more and more money. You'll, you'll, you'll probably pay twice what you really need to. Um, you know, again, I think I paid around $350 for this one. It's going to last me a long time. So that's an upright vacuum cleaner. You know, uh, most of us in the commercial world, we use backpacks. And, uh, you know, ProTeam is one, one of the best ones out there. There's many of them, uh, you know, that are out there now. But uh, Backpack, uh, we use it because it's, uh, the productivity is uh, twice of what an upright is. But you still have to maintain your backpacks. So one of the things that I always do is, again, I always check my bags before I use it to make sure that, uh, that it's ready to go. I don't want to be in the middle of vacuuming a few thousand square feet only to stop and have to dump my bag. And it's a lot. It's very simple. You, you generally just take off the lid here, and, and so on and so forth. We've actually done full videos on how to uh, change your filters and, and clean a backpack. Uh, one of the things that you do have to remember is that you got to change these filters and wash the filters on the bottom. Other than that, you know, besides changing the bag and, and cleaning the filters on a regular basis, I'll wipe down the cord and I'll check the cord, make sure that there's no cuts or uh, abrasions in it. I always make sure that I've got my three prongs on my on the end of my cord, and especially with my backpack, I always make sure that my clasps are always always clipped together. Uh, there's been many times that uh, that we've lost these clips uh, because because they weren't clipped together. So that's just another maintenance tip for you um, that will really save you a lot of frustration and headaches later on. So there you have it. If you maintain your equipment, it's going to last you for years.